SpaceX has captured the attention of people all over the world thanks to a number of historic achievements. The Dragon spacecraft became the first commercial spaceship to deliver supplies to and from the International Space Station in 2012. And it is the only private company capable of recovering a spacecraft from low Earth orbit. And in 2020, SpaceX made history by sending people there for the first time. By a factor of two, Falcon Heavy is the world's most powerful operational rocket. The Falcon Heavy can carry more than double the payload of the next closest operational vehicle, the Delta IV Heavy, and can launch roughly 64 metric tons or 141,000 pounds into orbit. Falcon Heavy is made up of three Falcon 9 nine-engine cores, each of which has 27 Verlin engines. The most powerful rocket currently in flight is Falcon Heavy, which has a liftoff thrust of more over 5 million pounds. In contrast, the liftoff thrust of the Falcon Heavy is equivalent to around 18747 jets operating at full power. To put that in perspective, Falcon Heavy can send into orbit the weight of a fully loaded Boeing 737 airplane, including people, baggage, and fuel. The first Falcon Heavy launch was carried out by SpaceX on February 6, 2018. Elon Musk, the creator of SpaceX, was the owner of the Tesla Roadster that was transported on the rocket along with a dummy named Starman in the driver's seat. On April 11, 2019, the second Falcon Heavy launch took place and all three booster rockets made it back to Earth safely. On June 25, 2019, the third Falcon Heavy launch went perfectly. Since then, the National Security Space Launch Program has approved Falcon Heavy. Although as of February 2018, SpaceX does not plan to transport people on Falcon Heavy or pursue the human rating certification procedure to transport NASA astronauts. Falcon Heavy was built to be able to take humans into space beyond low Earth orbit. The in-progress Starship launch mechanism is anticipated to ultimately replace both Falcon Heavy and Falcon 9. The enormous Falcon Heavy rocket from SpaceX has successfully launched four times. Since June 2019, this very powerful rocket hasn't taken off. Due to its enormous strength, it can launch satellites into orbits that are out of reach for other active rockets. And despite the lengthy break, the launch on November 1st went off without a problem. Two US Space Force satellites were carried in this launch, the purpose of which has not been made public and one of which is classified. Both satellites are now traveling in what is known as a geostationary orbit, which will keep them over the same region of the Earth and make them look stationary in the sky. This orbit is roughly 36,000 kilometers above the surface. Typically, when satellites are launched into geostationary orbit, they are first dropped at a lower altitude and then propelled upward by internal rockets into their final orbits. But since the Falcon Heavy is so strong, they will reach their final orbits in about six hours after launch. The first and second launches both proceeded without trouble from liftoff until the rockets touched on the ground. Therefore, there was no need for the lengthy gap between flights. Instead, the scheduled launches of the satellites continued being postponed. However, there are 10 additional missions scheduled for the next two years, so another flight is most certainly imminent. These projects include a number of significant NASA spacecraft, such as the Psyche spacecraft to investigate an unusual metal asteroid, the Europa Clipper spacecraft to explore Jupiter's ocean moon, and even the first components of a future lunar orbiting space station. Reusability. According to SpaceX, a fast and fully reusable rocket is the crucial innovation required to significantly lower the cost of space access. The rocket's construction, which traditionally has only flown once, accounts for the bulk of the launch cost. Compared to a commercial aircraft, which costs about the same as a new Falcon 9, but can carry out thousands of flights over the course of its career. A quickly reusable space launch vehicle based on the commercial model might drastically cut the price of going into space. SpaceX rockets can safely land back on Earth and take off again, unlike most rockets, which are meant to burn up upon re-entry. SpaceX Facilities, Bill Facility in California. 
SpaceX's headquarters in Hawthorne, California is where the company develops and constructs its reusable rockets and spacecraft. Vertically integrated as a business, SpaceX manufactures the overwhelming bulk of the vehicle on its Hawthorne location. One of the few places in the world where you can witness a full launch vehicle or spacecraft built under one roof is the SpaceX headquarters. Texas Testing Facility, a cutting edge 4,000 acre rocket development facility is where SpaceX tests its engines, vehicle structures, and systems. The testing facility is located in McGregor, Texas. It has 16 specialized test stands, validates each Merlin engine, which drives the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, and each Draco thruster, which controls the Dragon spacecraft for flight. The Florida Cape Canaveral Space Force stations Space Launch Complex 40. The site's position on the U.S.'s southeast coast gives it access to a variety of low and medium inclination orbits that are regularly utilized by supply missions to the International Space Station, as well as communications and Earth-observing satellites. The site provides access to geostationary orbits, as well as moon and extraterrestrial excursions. Florida's Launch Complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center. The Apollo and Space Shuttle projects were housed at Kennedy Space Center's iconic Launch Complex 39A, from where SpaceX will be launching. The Dragon spacecraft's crew flights are supported by LC-39A in addition to commercial satellite launches and resupply trips to the space station. California Space Launch Complex 4, Vandenberg Air Force Base. Due to the facility's coastal position in California, clients have access to polar and high inclination orbits, which are regularly utilized by lunar missions, military intelligence satellites, and satellites that observe the Earth. Vehicles launched from Vandenberg and traveling directly south cross open water until they reach the Antarctic, at which point they have already entered orbit. Texas Starbase. At Starbase in Texas, SpaceX is developing the first commercial launch facility designed just for orbital flights. Starbase is the location where the creation and testing of Starship vehicles takes place. In order to advance space technology, and enable planetary life, SpaceX was formed. Being the first private business to send people to and from the International Space Station, as well as the first and only firm to complete an all-civilian crew trip to orbit, SpaceX, the world's top supplier of launch services, is proud of its accomplishments. As a result, SpaceX is steadfastly dedicated to maintaining a secure orbital environment, safeguarding human spaceflight, and guaranteeing the sustainability of the environment for future missions to Earth orbit and beyond. In order to ensure the sustainability of space, we have advanced key technological areas, such as the ability to fly satellites at difficult low altitudes, the use of sustainable electric propulsion for maneuvering and active deorbiting, and the use of inter-satellite optical communications to stay in constant communication with satellites. SpaceX aspires to be the most open and transparent satellite operator in the world. SpaceX is coming up with new ideas to advance space technology and their Starlink constellation is presently bringing much needed internet connection to people all across the world, including underserved and rural regions. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Until next time.